check out ancient town in Chongqing. It's the Quanzhai Alley from Chengdu. I think what I love most about Chongqing is just living in a mountain city. Uh, you have beauty surrounded by you. You have lots of mountains and trails and hiking. And I like being able to go biking on the river on my weekends. But you know, with, with all that said, the food is probably my most favorite part. You, you, you can have amazing food from, from different parts of uh, Sichuan, from Guizhou and also Chongqing. And, and having that just makes life so much more interesting. Chongqing is the capital of famous delicacies in China. So to continue our series and why people love Chongqing, we have come to the food streets of Jiefenbei to come and try out the range of tasty snacks on offer. So now I've hopefully managed to whet your appetite. Let's go and take a look around. Hello, uh, so this is can you can can you can you can you can you Let's give it a taste. Mm. Ooh, very hot and spicy. But of course, Chongqing is very famous for the spicy food. So when you come try the snacks here, you often find they have a lot of chili powder, also mixed with the powder from the pickly ash, and lots of other spices as well. I would have to say, this is uh, very tasty. And the good thing is, we have lots of stalls here to choose from. So um, you don't just have to eat one thing we can control. When you come here, you can eat lots of different things as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As you can see from this key behind me, the stall here is doing really brisk business, but it was worth the wait and I finally managed to buy myself a cup of spicy fried chicken cartilage. So the Jeff and Bay Food Street is so popular that it has exploded in scale over the past years. In the beginning there was only one food street, but now there's a second and also there's third street where I'm standing right now. So let's give these a try. Yeah, these are delicious. This is the quintessential dish of Chongqing, hot pot. And when people all over China think of hot pot, they think of Chongqing. In the early days, it was invented by local porters on the dockside, but now restaurants can use it to cook all kinds of dishes. Over here, we have a bowl of tripe, and here we have another specialty that people love here, and that's duck intestines. So I'm gonna show you how this works. I'm going to take a slice of tripe and I'm going to swirl it in the soup for about 10 to 15 seconds. And you know, a lot of people say this red spicy soup of hot pot is representative of the people of Chongqing because they are well known for being kind and hospitable. Okay, so now this is about ready. I'm going to put this in a bowl of condiments and when I'm ready, I can start eating it. So next time you come to Chongqing, don't forget, hot pot is one of the dishes that you must try. Okay, so good evening. Good evening. So uh, first of all, could you introduce yourself for us? So my name is Nicholas. Uh, I'm from France. I'm 34 years old. Um, I come into I come to China like uh, eight years ago now, and I moved myself to Chengdu four years ago. So now I'm living in uh, Chengdu and Chongqing for four years. I see. And what did you choose to open a bar here on Ninth Street in Chongqing? So I'm also a partner of Revolution Cocktail. It's a club we have uh, in Ninth Street also. And uh, for me, the the best place, the best entertaining place in uh, Chongqing, it has to be in Ninth Street. So that's why I decided to open another bar here in Chongqing. 
Okay, yes. and do you like Chongqing as a city? I love Chongqing, I love Chengdu, both of them. It's, uh, I keep going back and uh, it's always a pleasure to travel between those two cities here. So what is it you like uh, most about Chongqing? Uh, I cannot say hot pot, but I, get, I try to get myself used to it. But uh, I love the people, I love the vibe. It's a very crowded city and every time you can um, just take 20 minute, 20 minute taxi and just dis discover again the city because it's huge, it's a huge city. So you can, cannot get bored of this city. Yeah. So if was, you've also spent a lot of time living in Chengdu. So now you've opened a bar in Chongqing, what do you think are the main differences between the two cities? Uh, I would say, no offense, but Chengdu is more developed, but uh, Chongqing, it's a place to develop something. So it's like more and more uh, foreigner restaurant coming up, new different clubs, new different entertaining place, coffee shop, fancy one. So it's definitely going to be uh, crazy the next three or four years for sure. We're in a bar called Bamboo on 9th Street, which is a nightlife hotspot here in Chongqing. And whether it's restaurants, bars, or karaoke clubs you're looking for, the street that never sleeps is always packed full of them. Now, since the epidemic has been brought under control, the vibrant atmosphere of 9th Street has returned to how it was before. So don't forget in Chongqing, we have great snacks, we have hot pots, and we also have vibrant nightlife. So wherever you are in the world, we hope that one day in the near future, you get a chance to come to Chongqing and experience this for yourself.